And today we're talking about how to create an effective link in bio. So the link in bio, if you guys aren't aware, is just that small link in your about section of your Instagram that allows you to increase website traffic and other avenues of digital content. For example, your blog posts, other social media accounts. Um, so as you guys probably know, when you post on Instagram, you can't actually include a clickable link in your posts. Um, as well as the fact that you can only include one URL in your Instagram bio. So today we are showing you how to create multiple links within that one link. So that way, if you are posting on social media quite often, you can have links in your bio that um, link back to your website, uh, an offer or experience or a product that you're promoting, um, your new blog posts, um, all these things that you can have in your bio at all times without having to interchange um, separate links all the time. So instead of creating a Instagram post that says, hey, check out our latest um, product. Um, all you have to do is head to our website, um, click on our products, click the third um, button and there you go. A lot more people are gonna be less enticed to go through that process themselves as opposed to if you just said, hey, check the link in our bio and, and it, it sends them right there, right away. So the first link that we recommend to you guys is creating a mobile friendly link page on WordPress or whatever um, website builder um, you use, um, because that way it is interchangeable. It is mobile friendly, which is particularly important since 99% of users go on social media on their mobiles having something that is mobile friendly is really important. The same can be applied to Wix and at any other websites. All you want to do is navigate to your WordPress back end. You want to click on pages and then you want to add a new page. Um, all you need to have is the title, um, a hyperlink. You don't need to have any text here or anything like that. You don't need to add SEO or you don't even really need a feature image because it's not going to sit on your website. It's not going to sit, sit anywhere on your website. It's just going to sit in your Instagram bio. And then you want to press edit with Elemental or whatever WordPress builder you guys have. All you want to do if you were using something like Elementor is type in call to action. And this is the widget that we use. So if you have a look, you add it, you drag it across and this is once you edit all of this it looks something like this and then when you view it on your mobile phone like this so when people click the link in your instagram bio it can look like this so you have a nice header you have a title you have a little description and then you have a link that directs you to that specific page so this way, not only is it free, not only does it sit on your website and the fact that it's mobile friendly, it has a lot more features that you can customize. This is the layout that we do, but obviously it's all up to you how you want to design it. You can add more if you want, add less, um, but we found that this works really well. The amount that you can put in your link is endless, but be aware that when you ask users to click the link in your bio, if it's not one of the top two or three um, options, they are less likely to scroll down and find it and get lost and they just, just get out of it. Linktree is the next popular one. Um, it is an easy and effective platform for business owners um, where you can monitor your traffic performance and capture email addresses. They do offer a free version, um, but the pro version is $6 a month. So it's still really affordable, um, but be, up, be aware that if you do get the free version, you have to display Linktree's logo um, unless you want to upgrade to the $6 a month. And that's $6 US, US, so it's a little bit more than that. And you can choose from a number of themes and you can also view the total number of times your Linktree has been viewed and how many times each individual link it linked is clicked. Our lovely Desi Karatsius uses Linktree in her um, Instagram. So this is just what it looks like. Um, so you click on that and it'll bring up her link tree. So right off the bat, you'll be able to see the difference between the WordPress one and the link tree one. So as you can see, there's no photos, there is no um, little description, there's just the title, 
with a link to whatever she's talking about. Um, another option is that's really popular is the um, link bio. So it is a simpler Instagram link tool. However, it isn't currently customizable. Um, so although that it is like more um, cost effective, so it's only 99 cents per month, there is restrictions on how much you can customize it. You'll have to play around, um, but the tool is simple yet effective. It has everything you need. Um, you can create as many links as you need and you can even track the links with the stats, the same as the link tree. There is the free version um, for when you get started, but then after that, it is 99 cents per month or $9.99 for a lifetime membership, which is really affordable. The question is, which one do you choose? So overall, the WordPress link in bio is free to use. However, it is a lot more complex when trying to constantly interchange links. So although we can show photos and uh, captions, it does take time having to do that. What we do find is that when we add um, photos, we have to go into Canva, design it, design it in like a Facebook cover or YouTube cover because it's quite wide. Um, we have to design all of that um, or just use like the photo that is in like the blog posts. So that does take time. Then you have to upload it. You have to add a little, like a little blurb. Um, you have to put the URL in there, but it is visually pleasing. It is effective and it sits on your website. So you know that it is always gonna work. There's gonna be no problems with it. The link tree, link bio, and all the other ones have some amazing features, which may be more user-friendly. Um, obviously you're not going to have to interchange photos and descriptions and all of that. However, they do come at a cost. So if you guys are wanting to have a look at the pros and cons, the differences between them, I found a really good blog post about it that I will put in the chat right now for you guys to copy and paste if you want to have a look at it. Overall, we've got some actions that I'd like you guys to have a look at um, before our next Instagram session. What I want you guys to do is create an effective um, link in bio using any of the methods mentioned above. Um, and to go back through any popular blog posts, services and experiences that you can re-promote re on your Instagram by creating a post about it, a story, an IGTV, a reel or guide, and then reference it back to the link in your bio. Um, that way you can reuse um, old content um, and give it a great call to action that you can generate traffic to your website, generate more sales, more traction, more visibility, more engagement, um, and see how that goes for you guys. So that wraps up the proportion of the teaching segment. Hope you guys enjoyed this session and I'll see you in two weeks.